Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited you showed up today. We got some stuff in the mail, as you can see. Uh, just hold tight, we're gonna do a good old fashioned unboxing. Uh, with the unveiling of version 19 of QuickBooks Point of Sale, Intuit decided to release some brand new hardware. Uh, they've had about the same hardware package for like the last decade. And so we've got some new, awesome, up-to-date, new technology options in the hardware that you can use with QuickBooks Point of Sale 19. Before I dive into this box and we see what's inside, I'm going to have you click on the link down below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group where you can join up and uh, rub shoulders with uh, about a thousand or more other QuickBooks Point of Sale users, ask questions, get answers, request videos. All right, so today is the day. Uh, I got my handy dandy knife here. And we are going to dig in. What I have in this box is actually the brand new, never seen before, barcode scanner. It's the new option for the barcode scanner with the QuickBooks point of sale version 19. As I unwrap this, I'm also going to mention that you can certainly give me a call. Uh, get an estimate for version 19 of the QuickBooks point of sale. See all the wonderful, great new features. I have a bunch of other videos about all the awesome features. But let's get... To it here got a lot of different angles I know and uh, we're just gonna see what is in store for us in the package okay this right here is a little bit heavy there must be something inside let's ditch this big box and see what we are working with okay with the previous Honeywell scanner I'm gonna mention that you just had one red laser line that you could scan barcodes with. You kind of have to make sure it was the right distance away and make sure that you were right on the barcode and knew exactly what you were doing. And sometimes it was a little finicky with the tiny little point of sale barcodes. And uh, some people just had issues altogether reading those tiny little tags. Now, I am unwrapping right now a stand. For some reason Intuit has always been very adamant about their their barcode scanners having a stand. So this has a wing nut and you can just uh, put the scan stand together right here and then you would put your barcode scanner in it. So maybe you wanted to work kind of like a supermarket where you're just passing things under the stand that has the barcode scanner sitting in the stand. So of course you get another one of those. Very convenient. Right here, we have uh, the cable for the barcode scanner. Uh, you can see right on the label here, this is going to be a Zebra barcode scanner. And the reason why I mentioned the laser part on the previous Honeywell scanner is that I believe what we have here, if I am not mistaken, is going to be a 2D scanner. That's two-dimensional scanner, not a one-dimensional scanner. All right, this box is empty. I'm going to get rid of it. What we have here is the DS2208. Got the quick start guide here. Uh, you're going to have, with, as with most scanners, you're going to have all sorts of barcodes in here where you can program it to do special things if you want it to do anything special. I'm just going to get rid of that real quick. Um, just trying to make my space utilized well here. Okay, let's get to it. <clears throat> Here we have it, the Zebra DS2208 digital scanner. And so, moving along in my explanation, I don't know if you can see this, maybe up here you can see it, uh, or over here. Um, this scanner is actually not going to operate using a laser, it should be an optical scanner. And so I'm going to stand up so I can make sure and get a good view on this. It's not very well lit. Maybe this camera would be a little better lit. But there is a tiny little camera in there. It's not a red laser. It's actually a camera. And so when you scan something with this, it actually just takes a little picture and recognizes what is in the picture. Uh, if that's getting too technical for you, the long story short is that this will scan things better. It will just generally scan better because instead of using a, um, a red 
laser, it, it'll pick up off of any surface. If it's reflective or wet, or it, even a phone screen, when you're uh, scanning barcodes off a phone screen, you could never do that with the red laser. You can do that with this. Next, I'm just gonna show you some real quick tests and we're gonna go through what you can totally scan with this scanner. It's gonna be so much better than the old scanner. This is also available in black and white, by the way. All right, folks, I got this uh, hooked up now. And one funny part is there is a red laser, but I, I believe that's more like a red light that is just there to kind of show you where you're aiming at because I, I do know that this is an optical scanner. Uh, I tested it out just for a minute. Uh, I'm going to show you on the screen here. And uh, I find this to be an oversight uh, by the Intuit company here, uh, or maybe Zebra. So it scans barcodes fine and everything, but your old barcode scanner was right out of the box programmed to scan a code and hit enter right after so that your um, your item would show up on the screen. Uh, for some reason, they did not program this out of the box to hit enter. Now I got my can of Coke here, if you can see. Um, hopefully you can probably see in the, this camera over here. Uh, I can go ahead and scan this and it finds the Coke, but it doesn't hit enter, which I would have to do on my keyboard. And that'll add the actual product to my screen. Now this can be easily overcome probably with one of the codes that is in this booklet here to append the enter key after scanning. And I'll probably release another video on how to do that. But boy, they're probably sending like hundreds and thousands of these scanners out and people are gonna be pretty confused immediately on why it doesn't scan and enter their item. Okay, so besides that, uh, I'm just gonna also mention a few things. Uh, one, this thing can scan really far away. I'm, let me see how far I can get it. So like, I'm pretty much across my whole desk here. And I'm clicking on it. Sorry, oh, now it's gonna, I don't know. It's It scans from about a, at least a foot away. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's, it's really a long range. Like you don't have to be right up close to it. And now some of the cool features I'm going to show you are, um, let's see, I'm going to pop over to my Microsoft Word here, and there was my test previously. Okay, check this out. So uh, on this Coke can, or on this Coke bottle, we have a QR code, which is that square, weird, squiggly codes that you see on different things. And so I can go ahead and scan that because this is a photo scanner. And it actually uh, pops out a URL, so any QR code can be scanned with this. I know, I think they use some sort of special codes for certain apps, like, I don't know if it's Groupon or some of the other ones have that QR code that you need to redeem. And speaking of apps and phone, uh, I'm sure this could come into play, but I just pulled up a, a random barcode here and so just to show you the old laser scanner could never uh, scan a phone screen because it was trying to bounce the laser and it's just too reflective so there you have it i can scan these codes that are right on my phone screen and that's pretty great so this thing is going to be very easy to use as soon as it gets programmed with that enter key afterwards i can't believe they missed that all right, my name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Give me a call if you need anything with QuickBooks Point of Sale version 19. I hope you have an excellent day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.